Hello everyone, welcome back to my bookish channel. Today I'll be discussing ways to deal with your writing crisis because every writer has had at some point in their life a writing crisis and it never feels good and you feel pretty much alone even though you know as a writer or you even see it on Twitter that there's quite a few writers having a crisis at that very moment. I have had one every few months <laughs> And I see my friends having problems as well. But, you know, eventually we all get over our writing crisis. And that's my first tip. It's a reminder. All writing crises end eventually. So take a deep breath and ride it out. It might only take a few days, but it might last a year. It's perfectly okay. You're not alone. All writers go through it, but the crisis ends eventually after you figure out what went wrong or how to fix something in your manuscript or what a lot of writers don't like to have to decide but do stop writing that manuscript and move on to something else. Of course, that is the end all decision and it usually doesn't happen, so don't automatically think that's how it's going to end. Always try and stay positive and just remind yourself that this crisis will pass. Tip number two is to take a step back from your manuscript and take a break. I know that can be very hard to do because you just want to fix the problem you have in your manuscript, but when you start to obsess like that, you're exhausting yourself emotionally, mentally, and physically. Like, if you're staying up until 4 a.m. trying to fix this problem and you have to get up for work at 8 a.m. <laughs> Exhausting your brain and working under those conditions does more harm than good to your writing and to your life in general. Number three, try to write something else. Take a step back from that particular project and write a few poems, another story, a short story, or even write from a different perspective of your MS to get into another character's head if you want to write but can't figure out this particular problem with your manuscript. Number four, Talk to someone about your problems with your manuscript and how it's making you feel. This is going to be a writing therapy session. I also suggest talking to a writer and a non-writer. So you see two sides to your crisis, a writer's perspective and a non-writer's perspective. Both are important to have even if that non-writer is someone that's not creative in the slightest. Non-artists don't think like us, but their point of view is just as important because they show us artists a more logical and in-your-face perspective to your crisis. Number five, do something else creative that has nothing to do with writing. Bake, color, paint, sew, draw, anything that's even remotely considered creative to keep those creative juices moving. I've said this before in previous videos, but it's true. Us creatives need to use up our creativity, especially when we're having trouble, or else we kind of go a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> Number six is my last tip, and that tip is to read. I don't know any writer that doesn't read because for us writers, reading is soothing and educational at the same time. For example, I was stuck on a scene a few months ago. I sat down to read for fun, keyword fun, fun, to relax and get myself in a more positive mood and boom, I fixed my problem and my writing crisis ended. That's why reading is so important for writers. It helps you think, and that's the most important thing of all. Thank you so much for watching my video about how to deal with your writing crisis. If you like what you just saw, please comment, like, subscribe. And if you want to get to know me or any of my writing, all of that information is in the description box below. Thank you so much and have a great writing and reading day. Bye!